So like, um, the way you buy in these houses now are in a, a unique way where you're basically not using your own money. You're using money from a previous property, right? Yeah, from our so first property, yeah. So explain that, how you're able to now buy four, potentially buy four properties this year and not use your money. And you actually was able to use the bank's money. Yeah, um, so actually, well, Explain. I wouldn't even, call, I wouldn't even call it the bank's money. I would call it that the home's money because okay. you know it, it, it's equity from the home. Um, I just pulled that equity out, and the way I pulled it out, it was in the form of a HELOC, a home equity line of credit. Uh, okay. And so I, 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 your properties, the price, the price appreciated right so much, right. so where you was able to pull out equity, right? Right. So what did you do with that money initially when you pulled it out? Pulled the equity out once you got it. Well, actually, um, and, and that's the point that I wanted to get into as far as uh, a HELOC versus refinancing, because a lot of okay. people heard, I feel like a lot of people heard about refinancing, but uh, it's, you know, distant cousin, the HELOC. A lot of people haven't heard too much about that guy. Um, so basically, in my mind, you would do one versus the other based on how much of the loan you have left. And that's kind of what I what I took into account when I decided to go with the HELOC. So I only owed a few thousand left on my property. I could have paid it off like on my own if I wanted to. Okay. But um, being that I own so little left, I, I figured, well, it makes more sense to pull out a, a separate line of credit, the home equity line of credit, uh -huh. versus do a refinance, which would basically restart my mortgage. With, okay. Like, all right, if I'm all, if I'm almost paid off on it, why would I start it all over again? That makes no damn sense. You know, so I pulled out the 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 HELOC, which, like I said, that's that's a, it's it's equity from the home, but it's a separate line of uh, credit from the home. It's a separate pot of money. So instead of having gotcha. one big pot of money, it's, it's two pots of money, right? So basically, what what I did was, mean that I had so little left on my home, I just paid it off with part of the HELOC, and I'm so you paid it. off one of your properties, right? And now you have enough left over to where you can still divide that money into like four down payments for four additional properties. Yeah, to well, equity does that for you, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it just shows the power of real estate to where you just started off with one, but then you grew this to where, you know, just holding that property, cash flowing from rental income that you've been getting on it since you've had it, and then pull out the equity and then use that money to buy four more that are going to cash flow prop money to you. Right. Yeah. That's, that's, that's great. <laughs> that is, that's great. Yeah. I, I never did that. Um, you know, I, I'm sure I have more than enough equity tied up in my properties to do that now, but, um, yeah, I, I never did that. Yeah. Well, it's, it's just, you know, another one of the, the, tools uh at the disposal of a real estate investor and you know it's worth taking so how was the, if, if it works as so, your, part of your strategy so how was the process of like doing that is it something like difficult time consuming like how long did this take uh, so I, I was already searching for one of the properties that i'm or the property that i'm under contract right now on uh, my, my dog wanted to come say hi. So I, I was already searching for that property while I was uh, in the process of getting the HELOC done. Um, so the, the, the lines are kind of blurred. Uh, but the, but the, HELOC it, pro it, the HELOC it, process itself. I, I want to say that process took maybe about a month, but it okay. wasn't a lot of work on my end. You know, it's like applying for, you know, any kind of bank loan. You submit like your documents to the bank. W2, so all that it stuff. wasn't as strenuous as like, um, like applying for a mortgage all over again, though, right? Uh, I think it was a similar process because the okay. same the same documents that you would submit for a mortgage would be the same documents that you would submit for a HELOC. Uh, it's just being that you you don't have a a, a, a that added party of a seller involved because then you have to you know. If, if anything changes as far as the dates, you know, you have to like 
you know, uh, amend the contract if, if closing gets pushed out and, you know, seller has things come up and you have to get the inspection all it. So it's not, it's not that crazy, but as far as like okay. the documents that you need to submit, it's, it's easily just an agreement between you and the lender. And it's more so they want to see that the property did actually appreciate in value to where you can take that equity. Yeah. So the bank, they ordered an appraisal and that was that. Okay.